Thank you, Chief Lynn Malerba, for honoring us with that beautiful prayer. It is wonderful to welcome all of you to the second day of the Tribal Nation Summit. I'm Julie Chavez Rodriguez, the Director of the Office of Intergovernmental Affairs at the White House. We have worked with hundreds of tribal governments from across the country to address the most pressing issues impacting our country and tribal communities. The President and the entire administration are thrilled to be able to relaunch this momentous occasion that symbolizes the important nation-to-nation -nation relationship with tribal governments. From the beginning of his administration, President Biden hit the ground running, tackling our nation's biggest challenges and putting forward an agenda that's prioritized the health of our nation, job creation and economic recovery, addressing climate change, and advancing policies that reinforce our commitment to equity. Tribal nations have been key partners in this agenda since the very beginning. In the first six days of his administration, President Biden signed the Presidential Memorandum on Tribal Consultation, sending a powerful signal that honoring tribal sovereignty, self-governance, and fulfilling the trust and treaty responsibilities with tribal nations is a priority across the entire federal government. And since then, we have worked closely in partnership with you to advance key legislation like the American Rescue Plan that delivered $31.2 billion to tribal communities, the largest single payment ever to Indian country. These resources have been critical to combating the COVID-19 pandemic and addressing the disproportionate health and economic impacts felt by many tribal communities. The president and our administration have committed to working with tribal governments in every aspect of what we do. It is why tribal governments were top of mind as we push forward the bipartisan infrastructure deal, the largest federal investment in infrastructure in more than a decade. It's why the bill includes unprecedented efforts to replace lead water pipes, get every American access to high-speed internet, usher in a clean energy future, and create millions of good-paying jobs. It is why the bill also includes $466 million for the Bureau of Indian Affairs, including $216 million for tribal climate resilience, adaptation, and community relocation, and $2 billion for tribal broadband grants, which is double the existing funding. In total, the bipartisan infrastructure deal delivers over $13 billion to tribal communities. As President Biden says, we know that when we best serve Native American people, when tribal governments are empowered to lead their communities, and when federal officials speak with and listen to tribal leaders, we are all better for it. Today, we look forward to doing just that, speaking with you and listening to you. We are excited for today's panels and announcements on climate change impacts and solutions, tribal treaty rights and sacred lands, economic and workforce development, infrastructure, housing, and energy, and more importantly, hearing from you during guided listening sessions on key tribal priorities. This is not the end of the conversation, but really the beginning. Our partnership with tribal governments is only getting stronger. During the summit, we have the opportunity to take a look back at what we've been able to accomplish together in 11 short months and look forward to building strong partnerships as we strive to empower and uplift tribal communities across the nation. We are grateful to have you as part of this year's summit. Thank you for your leadership and your ongoing partnership, and I look forward to seeing you all soon. Take care.